Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Neo Scavenger. This is Kernel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows and got me today as we try to get this character to survive a bit more than uh, the last Philip Kindred we created. Last episode, yeah, we died. We died a painful, slow death. I'm, it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't very slow. We just died during combat, and that's uh, that's that was the fate of. Philip Kindred looks like this one is is in much better shape in terms of luck. Iron Jesus favors him a bit more than uh, his uh, counterpart or whatever his uh, his previous incarnation. And we got a, a lock picking set. Hopefully, well, yes, good. There you go. We got a. Shopping cart frame, which is not gonna come in handy for now, but it might in the future. These things they can they can be assembled into shopping carts, but you need a bunch of stuff, and we don't have a, that. So we got bruised and scratched right there. I'm not gonna bother with that right now. Infection is a problem. Yes, yes, it is a problem. Let's empty this out. Let's apply. Fortunately, we got a first aid kit, but it's unfortunate that we needed to use it so very soon. But we need to take risks. We really need to take risks, because otherwise, our life isn't going to go very well for us. Uh, and by well, I mean long. It's not going to be a long trip. And But yeah, I'm saying this, but Neo Scavenger, you can predict what's gonna happen. It's all, it's all randomly generated, it's all random results. You could die at any moment, at any time, you just need to accept that. Looks like we got an, a t-shirt right there, that's good, I'm gonna tear that apart. And, uh, okay, so I'm gonna tear that one apart. And we need... Uh, we dearly need a medium length of string to make 12 medium lengths of string, I mean. Yes, we only have nine. That's bad. Um, to make a trovois. A trovois is the first step towards our long-term survival right now because we need to carry stuff around. And, uh, okay, this one doesn't have much loot. This one doesn't either. This one doesn't either. Ooh, looks like we got lucky that one time. Okay, so we might be able to build a fire right here and boil up water, but we don't... Uh, yeah, I'm not... Mm, mm, okay, first things first, and since this is the beginning of the game, we want to carry with us the best shards around. So this couple of shards are pretty in pretty nice shape. These are as well, the one is not... No. Oh, this one is good, and uh, yeah, I might, might as well carry these two back with me, because we're we're gonna need those to make uh, arrows. Uh, that's that's gonna be that's gonna be a very important aspect of our fighting, because um, as the previous uh, character we did, this one is a ranged character, so no melee for him, and that's gonna be a real problem. Uh, so we need to take that into consideration. So yeah, I'm gonna leave that behind. I'm gonna leave the sleeping bag behind. I know, I know. But we're still p pretty close to the to the cryo facility that we will be able to go there should we need to warm us ourselves up. Uh, so that's uh, that's a, a resting place, as we saw uh, before. So got. Newspaper, whatever, good. So, ooh, looks like this one is locked. Oh, what's that? Crocs? No. Okay, oh, yeah, one of these, good. This is also very important. It's a saucepan. It's gonna allow us, as you know from uh, the previous episodes, to boil boil water. And that's gonna be invaluable. Invaluable. It's, it's really important right now because if we get hurt, we'll get, we're gonna need to heal our wounds. If we... Get thirsty. We're gonna need to boil the water. And speaking of boiling, no, I'm I'm not gonna make a fire right now. I'm going to. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna break that um, that bottle right there to make 100% condition charts. There you go. 
There you go. It's already broken. Why are you breaking me even further? Never mind. Just break you damn bottle. Yeah, let's break it again because it's it takes it takes absolutely no time as it should. It look at that. 0 0.98, 0 0.97. That's realistic in my eyes. This game is very realistic. And I know graphics are aren't aren't realistic. And but it's all a matter of of subjectivity. It's how you it's how you look at things that means that they whether they uh, are realistic or not. It's not how they look like. And our painkillers are wearing off, but that shouldn't be a problem right now. These are edible, so we'll um, we'll eat them. Hopefully, nope, nothing in there. Oh, there's someone in here. There's someone in here. I'm not gonna blindly shoot. There's a melon head. He's got a whiskey. Oh, okay. So let's try and kill him. He's bleeding. And there you go. Oh, I could have avoided having used that uh, last arrow, but oh well. And this bottle was empty. I was kind of hoping that it had whiskey inside, but it didn't. Oh, well, look at that. That's the strange forest. We've been there before. Yeah, might be. We'll go there. Last uh, episode, or was it a couple of episodes ago, with a previous character. That's what I mean. With a pre previous character, we went to the isotope mine. And sure enough, we'll go there again. Don't worry. But... Uh, for now, I think I might I might go to the strange forest, and we still don't have 100% conditioned jeans. That's nice. 100% conditioned sneakers. That's better. That is better. Apocalypse now. It's at right there. Apocalypse. What? Apocalypse. Right. Right. Stir it up. Eat those. Gummy bears and tear the newspaper up. Okay, words are meant for evens and not for us. Okay, so I'm going to not. Oh, I'm gonna. To, I'm. Yeah, I'm gonna make arrows. I'm gonna make a couple of more. Uh, a couple more arrows because we need. We need. Uh, um. We need them. And uh, I'm not sure I can though. Let's see what else. I need ranged. And what else do I need? Oh, fletching, right, right there, right there. Come on, there you go. One. I need another couple of newspaper bits. One and two, and there you go. Good. So we are armed. We got water, uh, not water, bottles. And onwards we go towards the strange forest. You happen across the dense. A tangled thicket of forest where even sunlight treads warily. Vegetation is darker, heavier, almost reptilian in form and nature. And we advance. Let's use tracking. Let's, mm, let's examine the foliage first. You recognize none of the plants, but notice that quite a few are equipped with oversized barbed leaves. Careful not to brush up against anything you wonder. Oh, that's nice. You wonder if you, they're poisonous. You are resolved to eat or drink nothing until I have left the glade. The, this allows us to avoid being scratched by the foliage, as we did last time we came here. And tracking the path shows no sign of either animal or man, but you notice broken stems and crushed undergrowth at intervals, at irregular intervals adjacent to it. Something has moved through the area recently, something big, something sufficiently nimble and intelligent enough not to leave its spoor on the path. A narrow path wends its way tentatively into the depths of the forest, and we're gonna follow that path. Carefully, hesitantly, you proceed down the path and around the bend, and probably the, ve the vegetation becomes even darker and thicker, and a natural silence reigns. Um, stepping over and around numerous dangerous looking plants and obstacles is tiring work. The twisting path forces you to duck and lean, you're beginning to wish you were in better shape. Looking around, it's clear where the path winds further into the forest, though the path behind you seems to have disappeared into the slithering undergrowth, and still nothing stirs, no sound nor movement. Dark, clammy vegetation clings tenaciously to your clothing, no matter where you stand. Let's This time, let's not... Continue, let's throw a rock and see what happens. 
Ah, rocks, the poor man's scout. You pry a fist side stone from the damp underbrush and heave it forward. Unfortunately, in silence, in the silence of this wood, you make almost as much noise throwing the rock as it does landing in the muck up ahead. Silence resumes as the stone settles under some plants, and in nearby creatures remain hidden, though now informed that you can throw rocks. Your eyes catch... Hmm. Your eyes catch a detail you missed before. There's a shift in the light up ahead, a brightness spilling into the air, in the thick hair, hinting at a clearing. You move forward, and the path reveals a sunlit glade. For the first time, you notice color, movement. Standing before you is a lady, tall, slender, and dressed in a flowing, ethereal white gown. Calling your name, she beckons you forward. Her captivating voice only reinforces your desire to touch, hold, and possess. Oh, you dirty bugger! You can reach out to take her hand, she vanishes. As you reach out to take her hand, she vanishes. Typical. Angry, <laughs> angry that you have been denied, fighting back a deep sense of loss, you blink, struggling to come to terms with the abrupt transition. Left before you on the ground are several items. I had a path opens through the dense vegetation. That's great. And what we got is a... Yes. I, f I forgot that we got this... Look, what? Small electronic device labeled Galton Dog Be Gone. For best results, hold unit in hand. Recommended for nighttime use. Keep out of reach of children. Oh, Dog Be Gone? Is this like some... Is this against Dogman? I think it is. I think it might well be. And we got some water right there. But unfortunately... Okay, I'm gonna drop this. And I'm gonna equip that in there. I'm gonna put those... In there and as well this clean rank is gonna come in my face because why not and this is points of batteries yes leave the rest behind and puzzled and confused your eyes are drawn to the imprints the lady left in the soft ground all that remains of her of her alluring presence leaning forward frowning you look again you realize that you must have been mistaken because the imprints are not those of a human Perhaps it is the faint lingering... I got goosebumps. <laughs> Seriously, I'm not kidding. Perhaps it is the faint lingering scent of cinnamon that has muddled your mind. Does that also explain her index finger? The one that... No matter. Okay, so we're... This is a spooky... This is a spooky place. It is a spooky place. Hmm... Let's go to Zomzoms next and leave the isotope mine behind because I don't want to carry around that uh, big ass tiger or doll or whatever that dude gave us. Let's go. Oh, actually, night is falling and we should head back to. Oh no. No, 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 no. Hopefully it's a deer or something. Oh, he's got a... something in his hand though. He's sneaking towards us. No, dude. That's not gonna be. Oh, we missed. No, he tries to... What? Oh, we missed. We missed. Okay. Mm, and we hit him. He's got a, cr a crude broadhead arrow in his hand. And and we're out of arrows. We're not, though. We are not. Or are we? No, we're not. We are. Sorry. And we don't have anything to fight him with. Well, I'm... I'm I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna fight him with a metal saucepan. <laughs> Let's not charge. Let's taunt him. Let's threaten. Yes. Oh, no. That's not what I meant to do. There you go. He's charging at us. Hopefully, he'll fall right as he comes towards us. Threaten. He's rolling around all bad mothery and I don't know. He fell, which is good. Let's advance. Oh, he's. Okay, he's cl closing up on us. He's charging. I'm gonna bear dodge. No, I'm gonna dodge. I'm gonna parry. He's vulnerable though. He's fallen and bleeding. Okay, we should. He's vulnerable. Okay, we should hit with this. Hey, we did. He's vulnerable, recovering and bleeding. He's bleeding. Okay, so I'm not gonna surge him anymore. I'm destroying my saucepan probably. He's bleeding and parrying and in severe pain. I would be too. Got a couple of errors in my tummy and being hit with a saucepan. Okay, we're he's unconscious. Let's kick him. Kick him again. 
until he dies. Let's hit him again. Let's not use. Let's use our punches because that takes no durability. <gasps> No, 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 I saw two things that I very, very much like, but this is not good because I saw another thing that I don't like at all. Did you see it? Did you see what I saw? Okay, I'm gonna tear the... Um, that clothing... Oh, no, I don't need that. We don't need to... Okay, good. We got some food. We might as well eat it. We got some of that. We might as well bring it with us. Yeah, let's... Okay, let's equip this, because we need it, and let's tear those two. I'm gonna equip that. Let's tear this, and uh, where is it? Where's my pants? Where are my pants? There you are. There you are. Confirm, and confirm. There you go. Okay, so I'm gonna equip this. I'm going to have this go in here. I'm gonna put those in there. And these are good for nothing. I don't want them in here. I want this. Yes, good. So, I got... First off, let's start with the good news. Good news is we got a compound bound. And this one does a lot of damage. It really does. And I think it hits better. Not that we really need uh, to hit better. Because uh, we are ranged character. But unfortunately, I also saw a stranger. And a stranger over here is going to be bad. Because he's going to... He's going to... Uh, uh, he's got a shotgun or something and we're weary we're gonna try and run away and sleep somewhere sleep over here you shouldn't cross the mountains and that dog is also okay our, our makeshift sack fell apart it's not good at all um, okay, I can carry this but I can't carry much else I'm gonna need to stick to the basics. This is most important as Oh, actually, I'm not gonna stick to the basics. I'm going to go into the forest and bring with me a trovois. I'm just gonna make the trovois right here, right now. T uh, come on. N we, we need to hurry up because the other guy is right on top of us. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't tell me I lost. Okay, I'm gonna... Break that apart. Okay, good. Okay, we need that, and we need this, and we need the mechanic thing. Okay, I, I didn't need to break my bottle, but whatever. Whatevs, I don't care. So, got some water right there. Got, okay, good. And I got some of these. I'm gonna bring them with me. And I'm gonna. Oh, come on. Don't run away from me. Like that. I'll be like the white lady. In the forest. Okay. The stranger is around. And I'm going to come back. And I'm going to carry my water in here. I think that's the best solution for now. And this is the dog be gone thingy. That's the correct term right there. The thingy. And, uh, yeah. Okay. So it looks like things aren't going as badly as they might have looked like for a bit. We got uh, a, a good bow right there. We got a couple of bows, actually. And uh, we ran away from uh, from that dude with a shotgun or rifle or whatever. We got a trevoir. But we are still pretty far away from the... Oh, no. Oh, no. <sighs> There's no chance. He's got a perforator. That's... I mean, he's gonna shoot us. He's gonna shoot us right... Now. He's running, he's charging on us, that's good. We hit him. He's bleeding and vulnerable and stunned. And we hit him again. It seems he's, he doesn't have ammo. And that's a good thing. Unfortunately, we don't have weapons. We don't, okay, and I'm not gonna... Okay, I'm not gonna use that. I'm gonna use a, use a, use a branch. Because I might as well. I'm gonna threaten him. Okay, I'm gonna advance. Okay, uh, he's vulnerable, so I'm gonna surge him. And I hit him, but I am also... Oh, the oh, a branch fell apart. We broke the branch on his back, look at that. He's fallen and vulnerable and recovering and all sorts of... He's fallen, I'm gonna kick him while he's down. I'm gonna kick him again. He's unconscious, unconscious. Good. So we got a... <gasps> it's in such good condition too, he had no ammo. 
that is so good news such good news and we we also have no ammo because the arrows broke apparently the arrows broke oh well we also have no lighter which is a problem it is a problem i really really would like an a lighter because i need one we're thirsty we need to we need to hurry back to the um Okay, we need, we need, nope, that's not what I mean. We need to hurry back to the Genghis Cry facility, because night is about to fall, and indeed it fell right here. That's bad. Okay, so I'm going to make a narrow, because I can, I think, I think. Uh, ranged, and I need one of this, and I need, what else? I think I need this, yes. Okay, so I'm gonna sleep. I'm gonna quit this and I'm gonna sleep. Just a tiny bit. I'm in insomniac, so I'm probably not gonna sleep. Oh, we slept. We're so tired. Excuse me. We're so tired that we slept. Okay, so I'm gonna um, advance another X. Good, and sleep right here again. We're parched. That's not good. Okay, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna, I'm, I really need to go there. I really need to go there. And we really need a fire. So here we'll sleep because here is a shelter and sleep is much better. This should be, okay. We're still tired, but we have other concerns for the moment. We need to take care of a bunch of different stuff. We need to make a fire, but there's no, the sun is not out, I don't think. Uh, yes, there's not enough sun to make a fire, so we're gonna need to light a fire <sighs> Later We're gonna make arrows for now So one of those and not one of those uh, I'm gonna use no nope, I'm gonna use one of these yes and this and I'm, I got some paper around great And I got the rangers range skill there you go, and I need another one I got just a couple of those I need I need, I need this and this. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. So I got four arrows, which is perfect. I might as well bring this because why not? Uh, do I have my lockpicks? I do, oh, there they are. There they are. I need, what I need next is proper, proper bags to carry my stuff around. And uh, unfortunately we're parched and we cannot make a, make a fire okay there's tracks over there there's a feral dog around let's equip our proper arrows the feral dog went south okay so hopefully we'll find something to light a fire with uh oh, oh, our activity is likely alerted nearby creatures which is not not good because the feral dog is skulking about and i don't want to have to deal with him really don't so got a t-shirt right there hopefully our t-shirts are in good condition this one is not and i want, don't want that hospital gown i need this and this good so we need that might as well bring those with us new shoe do i need a new shoe no like one is in pretty good condition so i got one of these might as well bring it and that's it let's scavenge a bit more nothing useful what else? What next? The dog went south. I'm gonna go here. Even if... Uh, okay, so the sun is out, but still dawn, so probably... No, we're not gonna be able to... To scavenge that. That's unfortunate. Okay, so it's still, still dawn. I'm waiting for the midday or whatever. Dusk. Oh, there it is. A feral dog. Uh, was it a feral dog that we were... That was hunting us right there? I think it was okay so before anything else i'm gonna light a fire feral dog be damned i don't care i do not care where's the sun where is the goddamn sun come on it's not this it's still cloudy i don't know i don't know i don't understand okay so i'm going to go over there and i got a scrap of paper might as well bring it and if the dog comes for us oh well okay you got some t-shirts not necessary right now Oh, this one is better. Good. Got a lighter, finally. Please. Thank you. Thank you so much. 
Thank you so much, RN Jesus. You are my savior. Come on. Where is it? Okay. There we go. One of those right there. I'm going to... Yeah. Might as well burn the t-shirt. I'm going to use... Add another one. No, don't burn that. It smells bad. I don't like the, the smell of burnt plastic. I'm going to need to add fire. Add, add a burning wood to the fire. And now I'm going to be able to... Finally, and I think this is the first time this character has ever, has ever done this, is boil water. And yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. I'm also going to take the opportunity to drink it because we are parched. And we might as well. So there we go. We are thirsty. And we still have... We might have drunk bad water. Oh no. It's still there. Good. Good. Water. The bad water is still there. I'm going to bring this, this with us. Because we are going to need them for noise traps. Dog is going to charge on us. And it's still pretty far away. So it should be fine. He's bleeding and stunned and bleeding. Did we hit? We did. He's charging at us. He's walking towards us. He's advancing. Okay, so he's fallen. And we don't have a weapon. As usual. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna use a shard. Because we might as well. We'll cut ourselves a bit. But never mind. The dog is gonna go down. I'll make sure of that. Okay, so let's uh, threaten just because and we're bleeding and he's in severe pain. We're not in severe pain and we hit, but he took a bite. Yes, he's, he's biting us. We're caught in a, yes, the dog is taking the best out of us, but we've survived similar situations. We have, let's surge him just because, yes, we hit. Oh, but we fell and is 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 unconscious. Okay, so we okay, well we we're gonna survive this. We're gonna survive this. Oh yes, we survived. We're gonna be in pretty bad shape though. It's gonna be the same situation as before. I bet anything that's gonna be that exact problem. Uh, our body is gonna be full of bites. And I'm gonna need to boil that. Using that. Good. So firm okay and now i'm gonna apply this oh doesn't look that bad actually let's see how old wounds okay so let's switch these bandages around might as well keep that in there it's bruised i got food because of the dog um all sort of all sorts of nice things let's see let's make another couple of, couple of arrows they break too much the arrows break too much i don't know could be a trait or something could be something that we could do something about that but unfortunately that doesn't seem to be the case the arrows break a lot just something just something that we're gonna have to live with for now okay so yeah we got enough for those i'm gonna bring this small lengths of string or whatever and good okay good now i'm gonna destroy the i don't know the proper name Cut up the dog. There you go. And uh, cook his meat in the fire using autrevoir. No, I need yeah branch to cook the meat. And I'm going to take the time to cook a bit more meat. Yes. As long as we have not point something um, movements left, it's going to be fine. I got enough space in my autrevoir to bring the meat with me. So we're going to leave this location because there's another dog uh, locked storage. We might not. Mm, we should. We should. We shouldn't risk this. We should leave this location fast. Let's go over here. Let's see. Okay. Uh, where's, okay. There he goes. Oh no. Oh, we're still pretty far away. Not the best of situations, but better than nothing. Is bleeding and vulnerable. Okay, so he's bleeding. Did we hit? We did. He's stunned. Good. So he's charging at us. So now we don't have any more... Any more arrows. We need to make more arrows. We need to carry arrows. Okay, let's threaten him. Might be he's, he's gonna run away. Nope, he doesn't like running. Oh, he does, actually. Good. He, he, he took off with our arrows, but better than taking off with our lives. Ah, good. So we need to sleep. 
Let's eat that. We need to sleep very, very much. Okay, so I'm gonna take my chances over here. Hopefully, there's a... Hmm... I need to make arrows. That's something that we really need to concentrate on. Um, but anyway, that's gonna be it for this episode. Uh, I'm Colonel RPG and this has been Neil Scavenger. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!